Okay, Mark and uh, Val, I think that uh, here we might have another opportunity here. Um, this is a very unique one if you look at number two right here. Uh, let me show you a bigger picture. Oops, uh, let me zoom in. See if I can get that right here. You see this house right here? It's actually, you see that it's big, right? Uh, it's actually really big when you get there. Um, and it's two floor. The interior, basically, we probably are going to gut out everything and redesign just like the house at Sleepy Hollow. Um, I took Nick there already and um, basically um, probably we're gonna do the whole thing inside and there'll be nothing that we're gonna keep except for the four exterior wall and the roof here. Um, the house is really big you see you see here's almost 1900 um, square feet for one per floor so but because of uh, there is a small space somewhere right here um, the garage basically so the so that's about two or three hundred square feet so basically the basement should be about 15 or 1600 square feet in the in the basement um, let's see if it's saying somewhere right here 18 below is 1400 I guess so below ground is 1400 total is 32 um, okay so basically the total square feet is 32 estimate yeah that's about right 30 it should be I don't know uh, but anyway we've seen that about 32 3300 um, so we have about 3200 so so the reason I'm saying that we probably have an opportunity here because I found in the neighborhood, which is this house right here, not in the neighborhood, but you know, this is Cedar Land. And if we are going west from on, we're going west on the Route 50 and then when we see Prosperity, which is right here, we make a left and this house right here, look at this house. Okay. This house has 3,300 square feet, right? The total fitness has no basement. So basically, this there's all there is. And as you can see, the picture right here is kind of odd, but this looks pretty nice. It has a double garage right here, obviously. And then, um, I don't know, they built this wall right here, but that the house is right here. Let's go inside. Uh, there it is the swim pool but I, I I think this is more nowadays it's more like a, a negative equity instead of a negative assets instead of uh, a positive one but anyway um, they have this but the house is actually pretty small as you can see right here but the, in, the interior is is kind of unique and it's nice mm, well it could be nicer, I mean, but this is but this is really nice. And um, look at the trim work and all that stuff. But, but well, the house itself is not all that new. I mean, it's in good condition. Uh, the, all the windows are actually from like it's look like it's the original windows, and I'm not sure. But I would think uh, like the floor is kind of old. You know, this thing is a little tasteless here. But overall, it's, it's very unique. Look at this. And uh, it's very unique and uh, nice. Um, all this thing right here. So, but uh, as far as the square footage uh, and the lot of land and the land and stuff like that, it's very comparable to the, the house that we are thinking of buying right here, which is on Cedar Land. And it's actually it's sold under contract and how long has it been on the market it is only been on the market for 40 days and it's under contract so I'm expecting is selling around maybe 1.2 million this house is selling 1.2 million and it's on prosperity 
uh, it's a much more busy row on prosperity and this area right here we make a left turn we're heading toward Braddock Row um, so I don't know but this area is still very nice I mean uh, well, I, let's say it's, I, I believe these two houses are very comparable but anyway we with the house that we we are thinking of buying we go up a little bit and then we make a right turn on to see the land heading towards 66 and uh, Vienna over here so somehow I just think this might have a better location but again um, anyway continue going on route 50 we another when we pass the land and make a left there's another house right here let me zoom in a little more and this house right here um, it's a little bigger so basically 29 plus 800 that 37 so about 500 square feet but this kind of setting I, th I believe um, the interior fitness is not going to be as nice as the other one because they are more like limited space as far as the layout the flow is not going to be as wow um, so basically as you can see the picture here is the length I don't have that much the width I mean and um, but anyway the floor is kind of old I know this thing is uh, kind of old I mean outdated it's, it's not that bad but uh, it's still nice the floor of the wall is nice very tradition um, kind of painting here so it's pretty okay uh, this is nice welcome um, actually it's pretty nice but as you can see the house is not really in excellent condition is good and uh, look at this. This is not all that classy. It's pretty. I, I, I somehow I just think they paint this or something. Uh, look at the cabinet. It's old fashioned. And this is probably a wet bar somewhere in the house. Look at the kitchen. This is old style. And I don't know. It doesn't look all that really attractive. Um, but overall, the house is actually good. This is the new house right here I don't know the design I don't know why this thing is here this is here and this doesn't look right um, uh, for me I mean I maybe somebody else think differently but for me this doesn't look right and this is really old I believe time to upgrade um, there you go um, basically it's nice right here and basically overall the house is oh look at this uh, I don't know why they put this in the bedroom but anyway, see overall the house is actually is big and the design, this design is, I don't know, it's just not, it's just old. Basically, as you can see right there, right, with all this thing right here, they do upgrade, but whoever that is, has, uh, for me, I think they have some kind of weird taste or something like that. But anyway, this house, and it's like that, and it's selling for 920 right it's about three or four hundred four hundred square feet bigger than um the house that we are thinking of buying and uh, with that condition and it was able to command that kind of price so okay so let's look at another house uh that's number two number one which is right here this one uh is on cedar rest so basically it's, it's closer uh, to see the land and it's closer to 66. This is still in Fairfax, but um, I think over here somewhere over here is Vienna over here when we pass this mm, 66 somewhere over here. This is Vienna, but anyway um, and this house has 2400 above grade and Let me see the basement. So the total finish estimate to be about 3,000 right 3,000 right here because the basement is only about 600 so that house right there right let's look at the condition let's look like a vintage house <laughs> old style but anyway uh, see it's pretty old inside and uh, maybe some kind of I don't know they 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 maybe they keep it the way it is because of the historical aspect of the house or something um but this house was able to sell for 942 and how long that house was on the market 
is on the market for two months, 75 days. It's worth asking for 979. But I mean, there are a lot of room to improve on here. I don't know. Probably all this uh, here. I mean, the exterior like that, but it, it, I don't know. I, I think there should be room to improve somehow like this right here. Um, the staging is... I don't know. Uh, it's really old. Maybe the floor. Does the floor doesn't have to be like this. I mean, it can be new floor. I mean, they can keep this kind of thing. I don't know. I am not sure. But it's look old. Um, the kitchen can be better, you know. Um, but so basically, I think there are room to improve in here to increase. I mean to max out the value of the house but the owner decided to keep it that way and put it on the market so it's getting 942 now we get back to the house that i'm talking about which is number two right here and again because of that so if you look at this house right here and then this house this house so i believe when we fix up this house because it's too level like that and the in, inside is huge seriously because you just think about it one level and it's 1800 so we we have the the space to actually make it look really really good and uh, I think more people are gonna go in here in this house when we redesign it they are going to like it much more than this house right here and this house right here and even this house I mean this I don't know maybe just different taste but very unique this house right here and so I I believe after we fix up and everything and Nick was saying about hundred twenty thousand dollars to gut out everything from the first floor to the second from the the, the, the main floor and the basement uh, and redo everything, redesign everything. Basically, he's this fireplace is gonna be gone too. Um, and redesign the whole thing, basically, just like the house at uh, Sleepy Hollow, and then renew the deck and this deck, and then extend another portion out to the house to make it like bigger. And um, so basically, then. Finishing up landscaping. I think they have really like nice landscaping already. All we need to do is just you know refinish whatever that is there, make it look better, cleaner. So okay, with all that being said, I believe that uh, we should be able to sell the house at nine fifty quick quickly. I mean, we should be expecting a contract right away. If we decide to sell the house at 950 and uh, uh, probably we're gonna run into you know um, uh, multiple offer situation too but I believe we could actually you know um, might be able to sell at 975 and with 975 we have 144 but let's stay at 950 how much do we have it's 140 and as you can see right here that I have five months, but I don't believe that we need five months um, because uh, there is no exterior or any kind of structure here. So we just uh, gonna go to the county and get you know the remodeling uh, permit, and so we should be able to get out with in the same day. I mean like half a day. And we get all that permit right away and um, so we can start the construction right on the first day and with that kind of house I um, I believe we can get it done within you know some somewhere around three months okay and but yeah let's put five months just to be more conservative some maybe we need a little more time but then within five months um, and um, then we get the house sold and each make about forty thousand dollars right here it's, it's, it's actually it's not bad at all and the investment is around 180 um, so basically here is the number 
well, the house right now is listing at 640. But I, I really think mm, not a lot of people are going to buy it at 640. But if we can get at 600, we'll be able to make some money here. But let's say about 615, very possible, 615. So we still have this number. Uh, 615, another $120,000 improvement, five months of mortgage, selling at um, 950. This is how much we have left. But I believe it may be 950, 960 is not that much. We will go to get this much. But I'm really hoping as 975 compared to because of what we've seen at all the other houses, 975 is very, very, very likely. And this is how much we get. If we, we can get this number, that's mean we get about what forty thousand dollars each, right? Yeah, forty thousand dollars. No, uh, a little more than forty thousand dollars. So um, let me know what you think.